Now I want to talk about the adrenals and uh, adrenal stress. Uh, probably a lot of you don't even know what the adrenals are or where they're located. Uh, the adrenal glands are located on each kidney. So again, you have two kidneys and you have two adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are responsible for handling stress, uh, emergency stress, fight and flight stress. Most of my clients have adrenal problems because we're all under so much stress, be it work stress, be it uh, food stress, any kind of stress that we talked about earlier. We're just, our clients, or my clients are just having a problem with stress. Everybody is these days. So how do the adrenal glands or the adrenal stress affects um, our body? What, what is it involved in? It's involved in almost every process that we have. It's involved in hormones. Did you know that it puts out 30 to 50 percent of your sex hormones? Uh, it's also involved with your thyroid function. And this is interesting because I'm coming up with all the labs that, that I do. Uh, a lot of my clients have hypothyroid issues and generally when I see that I always check the adrenals because sometimes it's the adrenals causing the problems with the thyroid. So they kind of go together. When the adrenals get pooped out the thyroid generally takes over. So this is something to consider and to look at too. Uh, also with fatigue and anxiety, uh, your, your, your sleep patterns will vary. You may not be able to go to sleep right away or you may wake up during the night. Uh, this is not good. We need eight hours of sleep, at least a day, solid sleep without waking up at all, even to go to the bathroom. And I see a lot of uh, urination, uh, frequent urination at night particularly, which again is not good for your adrenal stress. Uh, also, uh, belly fat. I think you've, we've probably heard uh, commercials on TV talking about the cortisol level and belly fat and you have high cortisol. Well, you may not have high cortisol. You may have low cortisol. So this is, again, why it's important to probably do, do an adrenal stress test, which is very, very easy to do. But it can create uh, fat. It can create not just belly fat, but fat all over, depending on if you're hypo or hypercortisol. It'll also affect detox detoxification, your ability to uh, release heavy metals, uh, and also inflammation. Uh, so if there is an issue with uh, maybe a muscle and joint uh, problems, it could be an adrenal issue and also could be an infection issue. Uh, also carbohydrate metabolism and insulin uh, uh, issues, hypoglycemia go hand in hand generally with uh, adrenal fatigue. Uh, also muscle integrity, bone turnover, uh, mucosal barrier. Now again, if you're under stress, it's going to really throw off that barrier. We want to create a really healthy barrier. So it's really, again, important to test for adrenal stress. One other thing is brain function, poor memory. So this is another reason to test for adrenal function. And it's a very, very easy test. It's a test that involves saliva, and what we're, what we're trying to do is get what's called the, your circadian rhythm. We want to know what your pattern of cortisol is throughout the day so that we understand where your ups and downs are and we can kind of aid and assist and probably help to uh, normalize it or balance it out a bit. And we do this through protocols. I have both a hyper cortisol protocol as well as a hypo uh, cortisol protocol and they're both different. Uh, so again, very important to test for this particular uh, uh, adrenal stress test. It's easy to get. You can get it on my website. Uh, you can certainly call my office and I can uh, send it to you also. So again, there's really no miracles in uh, health and in healing and it takes time. And I, I really believe that the, these kind of tests are really important to, uh, to do so that we can find out what's going on in your system.